Ed, you told me the most important thing that we're doing to begin with when we start cutting and putting services in is the plumbing. Why is that? Well, it's very, with the plumbing, you really want to route the plumbing in first because it's easy to route electrical wires around the plumbing. Okay. Afterwards, if they're already in there, sometimes you can't stretch them out enough to get them where you want it. You have to call the electrician back. So. And you don't want to have to do that. So the plumber's first. Yeah, one of the things with the plumbing, you want to first decide where you want your fixtures, and we've located the pipes now, so the, so they go in the thick section of the foam here. So we've we've predetermined that we're going to be putting a two-inch pipe into the foam here for the sink and the uh, waste pipes, and after you've determined where you want the plumbing. It's a really smart idea to take and drill a hole through the floor, which is already done here. Thickness of that coupler, which is about two and a half inches for the two inch pipe. So it'll be two and a half inches deep. So we're gonna move this over two and a half inches. And so our, we're gonna be drilling a hole. We can mark this and move this two and a half inches. And that's where we're gonna be drilling our hole through the bottom of the container. So. We mark the center line of this, which is easy because there's seams on here. And I'll just do it right next to here, the reference hole. So we'll just line up the seam line there, put a mark, and then that's the center of the pipe. Now we're going to be, we're going to want this completely sunk in a wall, so we're going to want to go two and a half inches back for this hole where the center of the hole is that we drilled through, so we're going to be safe. And because uh, there's, there's horizontal uh, joists or steel floor joists that run through here uh, periodically, and this gives you a perfect location of those so if you, so you don't hit those here, we can say we went all the way through. The other thing is there's a beam that runs along, a main beam that runs along the whole container, and you don't want to be cutting through that at all. So it's a neat trick, instead of lifting up a container, just put a mirror. You drill the hole, drop the wire to see where your center point was going to be, and now you're placing a cutoff piece of pipe so we can determine how close we can drill through the floor to make sure we don't hit any of the structural beams. And here we have an inch of clearance from the center of the hole, so we're fine. And then another thing that you want to make sure is you've got clearance between these two, so so you don't want to hit either one of them. Okay, so we're going to be using a special tool, and this is a hot knife, and we determined that this is the two-inch coupler that we want to be able to cut through. So this blade has been set, it's a wire blade, and we're going to cut out this section. So the pipe's been cut out to fit in the wall already. Now we just need to drill a hole down through the shipping container floor and through the subfloor and the insole fast. So we're just going to use a hole saw for that. We've already determined where we're going to go. about an inch and an eighth thick plywood or, or some cases bamboo for the floor. So now we've got our hole through there. Now what I need to do is cut out for the foam in there because I've got this so it lines up here but I want to be able to slide it down and there's foam in here. So I'm going to put this back in there and then kind of drill down and now this can slide all the way down and it's virtually hidden in the floor. There's probably a, a little inch long section here that, that would barely come past the drywall. Next we have to do is, is put the vent line in. We're gonna go, in this case, 
There's a horizontal beam right up here, so we're going to go right out the side of the container. And we're going to be putting this end of there, so we're going to have to drill a hole out to the side. So this is pretty easy. We can just line it up and we can just push and get a mark in there. You can take a sharpie and mark where you are in there. And we'll drill a hole through that. So we have this vent pipe that goes in here for the sink and we're going to mark where that goes out of the container. The reason we're not going straight up here is because there's a horizontal beam that runs across the whole thing. So we're just going to go out so we can press that up against there, take a Sharpie marker and uh, get some marks on it. And I'm just going to pull that out of there and then finish up. What I want to do is just get the center of the hole is really what I'm concerned about. And for the for the hole saw going through there. So I'm going to just drill a pilot hole in here for the hole saw to make it easier. install the pipe now and we'll see how this fits. Stops in there, stops in there, perfect. So we're flush and then we've even got this all the way flush. We cut out a little more down there and it works perfectly. One of the advantages of working with a hot knife and getting a nice clean cut like that is we now can replace the foam pieces in here for a good insulation. As you take a look, you can see how that curves down. So about there, we're going to want to cut through here, and that's going to be a roll cut. 